Hello, this is going to be a quick introduction in some basic um, drafts or checkers uh, strategy. Now you could use this, I think it's relevant to all variants as well, so you might have seen my variants videos, if not just type in a mass and variants into YouTube and I think you'll get them all. So the first thing is what's known as um, Old Faithful I believe and it's putting that piece right into the center. As with many games of um, abstract strategy, controlling the center is very important. Now weak players or people who aren't playing strong players might think these places are good because going here is suddenly stopping anything from coming towards you, especially in standard drafts or checkers because you're not worrying about something coming back at you. In some variants you can take backwards, such as international checkers. So in this instance, what I do like is the fact that uh, if you're going here though, especially with that have to take rule, which I do prefer to play with, you're gonna end up with this piece having to go over there. So by controlling the center, you're actually keeping your pieces more together, which comes onto my second point. If you can have a piece like this, imagine we haven't got and it's just gone or something. Um, suddenly what's happened is you can't like interweave that. You can't break it down. You can't chip away at it. You could do, of course, with uh, the hand to take rule. So uh, let's just talk about standard um, standard mode first, shall we say. So yes, you could have that take and I could choose not to, but then they could keep coming down, but eventually they're going to get blocked and that could start happening. So keeping pieces together is very good. And the way to really go about that is to have them all in like a pyramid and just have this piece blip, 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 move up here, ideally taking some pieces and then you maybe start shrinking up that pyramid as well. Which brings me on to my final point of these kind of very brief uh, ideas. And that is this idea whereby is if you start moving these pieces off the back line, you're vulnerable because suddenly for a start, you could get taken. I mean, if that had gone here, there's no way to protect it. So it's very important to watch out for that kind of stuff. But sometimes it's, it's good to sacrifice. So sacrifice is what I think is very interesting in games such as chess, games such as uh, drafts, and also games in the gift series, in particular, Devon, where there is a kind of uh, a sacrifice element, in my opinion, at least. And that's around making sure you can control and know where to control on the board. So let's just take some pieces off. And I'll show an example maybe that I can get to in, whereby you might want to try and get to this location and you could kind of do something like this with your piece. And if it's a have to take, away it's gone, and suddenly you can get in. Additionally, once you're in, you've then got your king, which can trap your piece here. And there's one other thing which is quite um, simplistic, shall we say, to do, which is if you've got a piece here on the edge, and you've got a piece like this in particular, placing it here, if there's nothing around to help it out, You've got this option here, just keep taking. So this corner triangle, I don't know what you want to call it. It just only gives it kind of one viable option and anything else coming along going here, you could take here and it can end in the corner. Equally, it might become a king. You can cook them all the way to the end. And then what happens is you end up just doing this. Again, it's gonna get taken wherever it goes. So keep an eye on that. Similarly on the corner, if it goes all the way to here, you go here, it's got nowhere to go. And finally, if you go over to this corner, well, that way it gets a bit more trickier because suddenly you're going to need a lot of kings. Let's just assume these are kings. You need to back them up because if not, then it can't go anywhere. So it might be the case that it goes here, you go here, he goes here, you go across, he comes back. I don't know, you maybe move this across, he comes here, come out, he comes out. Um, and then you can come here. Yes, it could go here and it could take this side, but either way, wherever it's gonna take, you can then take it back. Something like that could occur, or ultimately you're just basically forcing them out of the corner. So that's a run through of just some basic strategies for drafts. I'm not an expert at this, ge at this game, but I just thought it'd be handy to give you a little bit of an inkling to make sure that when you're playing your first few games or just rediscovering it or playing it, especially if you're seeing this around lockdown period, it's a chance just to try out something a bit different and maybe try out some different strategies and being aware that such strategies exist, especially if your opponent already knew them and you didn't. So if you'd like to see more videos, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get the videos first. Additionally, if you happen to like it, if you hit the like, it gets me an idea that you're liking more of these. We're now into triple figures every month at least. And finally, yeah, more videos are coming soon. 
So any comments, check them in the comments box. And if you want to check the description, you might see some more links for more games of these variants. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.